And welcome back to uh, JJ and Remy's Food Review. Now, last week I teased you with we tried a couple of Doritos. We tried the Tapatio Doritos and the Dinomita or the Dinomita uh, flavored Doritos. And while they were better than the hot mustard, it just was not as good as a sweet and tangy barbecue. Uh, I teased you last time with a product that um, the logo or the cartoon on it looked like a cartoon version of uh, comedian Avery Schreiber, as well as movie reviewer Gene Shout. Now, Gene Shout was on the Today Show. He's still alive today at 97 years old, still has that thick, bushy, curly hair and that mustache that kind of goes across the face. And uh, Avery Schreiber had bushy, curly hair and a mustache like that as well. And he did Doritos commercials from the mid-70s to the early 80s. And he would crunch a, a Dorito and just cause the place to just be destroyed. Uh, it was at a wedding one time outside, and sour cream and onion Doritos are so good. And he crunches the chip, and the um, big tent, the, the wedding's under, falls down and <laughs> falls over everybody and causes the wedding cake to spill over and the bride and groom to you know get all messy because he crunched a Dorito. Well, the product I'm talking about here is Pringles. Right. And I found this in the store the other day. Um, Pringles Harvest Blends Blended with Sweet Potato. Now, this one is a um, smoky barbecue flavor. Um, I haven't had Pringles probably in about a year. Um, I last had one um, about a year ago when my friend Lisanne and her uh, daughters were visiting from uh, Louisiana. And I forget what flavor. I think they got barbe barbecue Doritos, but just the regular barbecue, not this uh, special one I've got. Of course, the chips look just perfectly like they always do with the Dorito, with the uh, um, Doritos, with the Pringles. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so I'm going to give you the Pringle right now. Oh, okay. Grab some over there. I, I'm, I'm looking up the IMDb for Avery Schreiber because I'm trying to remember what, obviously, he's got a very a big career. But there, I, I know him from something that I'm trying to think of, of, of what was my touchstone for Avery Schreiber. He was teamed up with comedian Jack Burns and Burns and Schreiber as a, a comedy team. And I, I got to meet Jack Burns probably about 15 years ago because a former coworker of mine wrote an original uh, play that, uh, that Jack Burns was in. I, forgot, I forget how he uh, met Jack Burns. The uh, actor was, uh, is Ryan James. Uh, his wife is voiceover talent, Melissa Disney. And um, Melissa's a distant relative of the Disney family, just to let you know. And um, so I met Jack Burns for a brief moment. Um, and then uh, Avery Schreiber was also in this movie called Scavenger Hunt. Um, Vincent Price had a cameo at the beginning of the film where he was, where he was this filmmaker named Elton Parker, who, uh, playing one of his uh, vi video games, or electronic games croaked and then he himself croaked and left a $200 million state. And so Avery Schreiber was seen throughout the movie as the uh, head of the ostriches at the San Diego zoo. And he talked like Sylvester and the guy said, what's wrong? What's wrong? Jerry Smith. <laughs> well, just go home. I'm sure he's there. Not my son, Jerry, Jerry, the ostrich. You have five ostriches. They got four, one, two, three, three. And then at the end of the film, it's like, you know, um, the proprietor of the estate, uh, played by Robert Moore, said, What's the matter? You got five stolen ostriches. Well, if you wait till five o'clock, you can have your ostriches back. <laughs> it was a funny movie. Meatloaf had a cameo as a biker named Scum, who was the head of the Peace, P I E C E Corps. Um, and he just had the craziest items. And some great stars. He had Cleavon Little, James Coco, Roddy McDowell, Tony Randall, uh, Dirk Benedict, and Willie Ames played brothers in the in the movie. And okay. um, it, I, I finally got it on DVD because it finally came out on DVD a couple of years ago. I said, I got to have this. Um, I actually met uh, Henry Pollock II, who was eventually Jerry Silver on, on um, the sitcom Webster. Yeah, I met him at the oh, game wow. show Congress. And... I said, I noticed that you and Stuart Pankin are here, and you were both in that movie. And he said to me, well, at the time the film was done was 1979, and there was a gasoline shortage and gas lines. And so part of their salary in that film was free gasoline. 
Uh, <laughs> Henry was just the, one of the nicest stars I ever met. But uh, yeah, it was a great uh, lineup of, of, of talent in that movie. Wow. Yeah, I know that's crazy. I, again, every time I see him, I'm seeing something in my head. It's got to be some movie I must have seen when I was a kid and can't figure out quite what it was. But we got our barbecue sweet potato. Are mm -hmm. you a sweet potato guy, by the way? I love sweet potatoes, actually. All right. Oh, this is good. I um Even though it's such constituted uh, uh potato chips, <laughs> they are addicting. Um I did hope that the um smoky barbecue had more smoke to it. it, it I I like the sweet potato flavor, but the barbecue is kind of lacking in it. I really don't touch taste much barbecue. Yeah, I was just going to say, we were like talking about good. I'm just like, oh, yeah, the sweet potato chip. Like, if you told me sweet potato potato chips, I'd be like, on board, these are great. You tell me these are smoky barbecue, I'm like, where, where is it? Like, yeah. <laughs> did, did I it, miss the dust on did the, Yeah, did the dust, dust fall to the bottom, you know? <laughs> Should we have shaken up the chips before we <laughs> had them? I, I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, Again. I mean, it, it, it's there. It's just a hint, but that's about it. Yeah, because, I mean, when um, when Lasanne's daughters, Lily and Eleni, were eating the Pringles barbecue chips, I decided not to have any because I was trying to lose weight. And so I don't know. I can't compare this to those regular Pringles barbecue because I just didn't have any last year. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's a good sweet potato flavor. But, again, where is the barbecue? Yeah. Where's the beef? Exactly. Know, exactly. <laughs> but uh, I, and, and I've had Pringles. I love Pringles. I just had recently had, and I was going to bring it in, but then my friend ate them all. But we had, uh, <laughs> we, I, I, she had brought me some, um, uh, was it French fries and ketchup mm. Pringles. And they were really good. Wow. And I probably had 10 of them. And then I was like, and, and then I went back to the container to get some more. And I was like, I'm going to put some of these aside for Josh. And they were just gone. I looked at her. I'm like, "Did you just eat this?" <laughs> Barely got to finish it. But um, are they still at the store? I haven't seen them locally. She came from the East Coast. Oh, so I was just like, that was what I had access to. And um, yeah, no, I, I those were strong. Like there, there was, but you could also taste the French fry in it. It was really a good combination. But this, I, I want more barbecue. I love barbecue. Yeah, there's just not there. I'm now curious about the French fry and ketchup uh, Pringles because in America, there's not really a ketchup flavored or a major ketchup flavored potato chip out there. And so it's kind of cool to hear about that. But as you said, it's only on the East Coast. And again, like we said uh, a couple episodes ago, people think, oh, you're California, you have everything. No, we don't. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think it's going to be a little bit of time and it might eventually get here. I think it just might be reaching that place first yeah because i always see that with friends on the east coast that'll find like a new flavor of mountain dew and then you know two months later is when i finally see it on the shelves here so <laughs> yeah it's funny how they usually try products in the smaller markets first and that kind of works its way up when most people think oh it probably starts in the larger market and it works it works its way down but that's just not the case not always not always cool